Hey guys, my name is Cairo. Welcome back to another video guys today. Today guys, we are adding on to our all duplication video. You guys obviously love those guys. The last one I made is almost at 200,000 views. So obviously those get a lot of support and you guys do really love them. That's actually how I got majority of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you guys are new guys, please check out the rest of my content. If you guys do enjoy, please subscribe. Guys, today we are adding on or updating that video. I uploaded that video about a week ago but I actually found two more glitches since then, guys. So I'm gonna be posting that and I'm gonna be cutting out a bunch of parts of it. So yes, guys, I'm sorry. I am kind of gonna be reusing the video, but I'm gonna be adding two more glitches to it. I'm sorry. You guys obviously love these type of series and I just wanna show you guys and update you that there is more glitches. Now, I know majority of my subscribers already seen all these glitches, but guys, these videos bring so much more us to this channel and i really appreciate everybody that clicks on the videos and subscribes and leaves a like guys you guys are amazing thank you guys so much we've grown like crazy we've gained 12,000 subscribers in the last month guys and it's insane. it's really insane you guys also love the tutorials you guys love the x-ray glitches the tours the uh the glitches the duplication glitches everything so yes guys today i'm gonna be showing all those glitches plus two more that I've shown in separate videos and I'm just going to put it all into a compilation of one. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah, guys, I'm sorry, my subscribers, you guys have seen these glitches before. If you guys have watched all my videos, but if you haven't, so you guys might find some new ones. But yes, guys, here is a compilation of probably about eight glitches. I don't know. There's a lot of them, guys. All the ones I know. I do know one more, but it's kind of in the testing. You guys can see that further in the future. It's going to be a creative mode glitch. But yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe. I'm sorry, I'm dragging this on too long. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and yeah, roll the clip. And also guys, right before we start, I'm sorry, I forgot to say one thing, guys. There is glitches on here that work for PS4, work for Xbox, works for both. There's glitches that only work for PS4, glitches that only work for P or Xbox. So yes, guys, please don't go comment down below saying this doesn't work for Xbox, this doesn't. Like, guys, just watch the video. I promise you there's going to be a few of them that work for Xbox. All of them work for PS4 because that's what I play on. And then, yeah, guys, tell me down below if it works on PC because I'm sorry, guys, I can't test that. And, yeah, I'm sorry for wasting time. Let's go. Let's get on with the show. I guess, <laughs> I guess there's nothing really holding back, guys. We might as well just get straight into the video. So, guys, what you need for this glitch today is 10 pieces of obsidian, a flint and steel, a redstone comparator, two hoppers, and whatever block you want to duplicate. You only need one of them. And if you, for the more chance, so, guys, this is the only glitch I actually know that there's only a chance of it to work. So, the more hoppers and the more comparators you guys have... Just make sure make sure to always have double the hoppers than the comparators like if you guys have 10 hoppers make sure you have five comparators so yeah and the only reason you need the obsidian and the flint steel is to actually make the portal and i'm pretty sure everyone here knows how to make the portal but just in case i'm gonna be making it again for you guys you guys just build a box like this kind of like a where well, you can break these corners that's what makes it 10 and not 14. and then you press the flint steel on side and then let's head inside guys Wait, guys but yes, guys, how you make this work is that place down a hopper and then crouch down and connect it just like that. And then what you want to do is break the one behind it and then replace it so they're both connected just like that. Now we're going to make a line. And guys, the more you have, the more there's a chance to work. And you do the same thing. You crouch place every single one just like this. And then what you want to do is go behind and break these and then crouch place these two. Now it, it does take a while to actually do this. But the more you have, guys, the more chances uh, you'll get it to work, then yeah. Make sure not to connect them like sideways. Make sure they're all connected just like this. You guys, you can even do a little check just like that. You guys can do that. All right, we're, we look all good. How to make sure that you know it works. If you drop an item in there and you put a comparator, just like, oh, bam. And then you press a comparator right here. You know it works if it's blinking. Like right now, it's not blinking. So what you want to do is flip it. And then if you guys see it blinking just like that, that means it's working perfectly fine, guys. Oh, let's grab it back out. <laughs> there we go. So what you want to do is do this to every single one of them. Just like that. And guys, now whatever you want to duplicate, and I'm pretty sure I addressed this, the title addressed it. But guys, you can duplicate any item. I, You know, I was going to use beacons, but guys, we're actually going to use ender eyes because this is what everybody wants. So what you want to do is drop one in each of the hoppers, just like this. Not on the other side, only one every two pairs. Just like that. Now what you want to do 
so now we can you know it's working because there's this really satisfying like pattern it almost kind of looks like you know how people have lights for like santa's sleigh to come in it kind of looks like that so now guys what you want to do is actually just walk in and out of your portal five times and it's obviously we're in creative mode so it's going to go by really quickly but if you're in survival mode it's going to take a little bit longer because you actually got to do the whole swoosh motion a bunch so yeah let's uh walk in and out so that's one time two times three times i'm sorry guys if you hear some really loud noises four times five times and let's go back all right guys <laughs> oh god the noise is a problem i'm hoping my music covers that but yes guys now that we are back how you know it works and let's see if we did get it to work how you guys know it works if it's actually stain glowing i'm sorry if you guys heard this really weird shaking noise <laughs> my cup of ice is right next to my drink or my, my mic what am i saying so how you guys know it works if, if the light is glowing as you guys can see wait what oh, yeah see you guys there's two of them and i just realized guys we're actually at the wrong one we're at this is the one of my i was testing so yeah let's go over here this i was like wait why is there diamonds so you guys how you know it works if it's glowing guys look we actually got a lot of them to work so let's grab two right there and with a lot of people really oh we got three out of that one what we got three out of that one too didn't we oh my god oh, wait so i guess the longer you stay in there the more it duplicates all right i guess that makes sense is everything else good so guys i'm not sure how much we started off with but you gotta you gotta think of the only ones that actually worked so yes guys i'm pretty sure just the long the more you go in and out of the ender portal it actually just duplicates more and more and more now why a lot of people were very excited for this video is because one is to duplicate any item on multiplayer i'm pretty sure it works on multiplayer it has to you know because you're not leaving or anything it should work perfectly fine and then also a lot of people are like nine or nine out of ten duplication glitches actually you need 18 diamonds to make two diamond blocks guys with this all you need is one single diamond you could literally go borrow your friend's diamond duplicate it and then put his diamond back like guys this is actually a really dope glitch and now we're going to go in and out a few more times to see if any other stops let's try this oh we glitched oh come on hopefully you guys don't hear the big loud ear rape noises i'm hoping it's not like that all right let's see if it worked anymore right here this one's clogged so we got another two. Oh, there's three in there oh my god how much were in there there was like six in there what the heck okay let's see. how much is in here two i think and then this one's three that's <laughs> i don't know how this actually i don't know how consistent this is guys this is awesome so we just got a bunch of ender pearls hopefully you guys enjoyed that glitch that's probably the main glitch of this this I was intentionally only doing this one, but I'm not sure if this works on Xbox. So guys, sadly, I don't play Xbox, so I can't test it. So I'm just going to throw in an Xbox glitch. And guys, it's kind of funny because I can't even do the glitch. Like, I can't show you because it doesn't work on PS4. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like and how it actually works on Xbox One. So yes, guys, this was the PS4 glitch. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys are new, please subscribe because I know most people are probably clicking off right now. They're like, oh, I don't have Xbox. Guys, I do how-tos, tips and tricks, tutorials, live streams, tours, everything you guys need to know about Minecraft, seed showcases, I got you. So guys, if you guys could, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, and then yeah, goodbye PS4 players, <laughs> unless you just want to watch and see what uh, how the Xbox glitch works. But yeah, guys, so what you want to do is actually find the best chest. What you guys want to do is find the four, or the, the, por <laughs> what you guys want to do is find another portal and find the best chest with the best loot in it, and don't touch it, guys, alright, don't touch it just yet. And then guys, uh, let's move on to the next step. So yeah, let me just repeat that one more time. You guys just find the chest with the best loot and once you find it, let's, uh, and I'll tell you what to do next, guys. <laughs> let me go back. So guys, what you wanna do is actually make a portal right next to that best chest. Right next to it, so you guys can, um, when you go inside, you can break the portal on the inside. Oops, <laughs> you guys can break the portal on the inside and then remake it right next to that best chest. And once you do that, um, go through the portal again and then it will lead you somewhere random in the world now when you're somewhere random in the world what you want to do is actually make an entrance to it and guys this is where you're going to be doing the little glitch so yes guys right here down in this room we have the portal right next to the best chest for me at least so yes guys you want to do the same exact thing some reason it did spawn me in a cave so you guys but yes guys once you make the portal next to the best chest what you want to do is go down in the portal and then go next to the chest and what you guys want to do is take the items from the chest and for me guys this is completely generated loot there's two diamonds and five nether wart and guys you can learn a little farming route and if there is chest around the corners let's say there's a chest right here 
Like I would grab these items I would go over here, grab the items from this chest, go over here, grab the item from like this chest or something. Let's see if we can find another one. Can we find another chest? Okay, guys, I don't want to get lost. Let's go back to our room. So yeah, it's down here. Then we're to the left. Yep. So here we are. So what you guys want to do is find a little um, route, route <laughs> through your whole nether fortress grabbing all the chests. Unless you just want to farm the one thing. Like for me, guys, I'm only going to be farming this one chest. I gave me the five nether wart and two diamonds. And guys, what you want to do when you're at this point is walk out of the nether. And then while you have the two diamonds and five nether wart, you want to exit the game. And then while we're here, hopefully it loads up quickly. Let's press play game. And then you go to your world and you press triangle and then or you go to here you go to more options you press r1 to world options i'm sorry guys so let's go over that again you click on your world press triangle or okay why am i saying press triangle okay one more time guys please give me a chance <laughs> so you click the world more options go to world options and then press reset the nether it says when enabled the nether world will be regenerate or regenerated this is useful when you have an older save where nether fortresses were not present so once you do this guys you press load the world and then we're coming right now and yeah guys uh while this loads up i hope your guys day is going amazing guys mine's day my day's going pretty good too all right guys now that we're here you want to go through the portal again and then you realize you're in the nether fortress with the two diamonds and four nether or the five nether wart so yes guys you can just rinse and repeat this guys all right guys with the first glitch what it is is the redstone glitches so guys, it kind of looks like this. I'll be rebuilding it for you guys right after I show you them. So here's the two different models. Okay. Now guys, there's a lot to this video and I really don't know how to approach something like this. So what I'm just gonna do is grab everything and then rebuild it right in front of your guys' eyes. So let's break this all and I reach, I'll show you guys how to build it. So what you wanna do is put a crafting table. On top of the crafting table, put a dispenser. A block behind the crafting table. A redstone on top. And then a block all around the redstone just like this. I'm sorry guys if I'm going too fast, but it's just like this. And then along the bottom block, what you want to do is put uh, redstone torches. And then put a lever right here and then press it to make it shut up because it's constantly clicking. And yes guys, that's actually how fast, that's how you build this glitch guys. It's extremely easy. So you don't need to put a stack of diamonds in there. You could put, I think the limit is 18 or 17 or something like that. You just have to put a bunch of diamonds in. The more diamonds you have in there, the more you'll get back guys. So before I show you how to do that, I'm going to show you guys how to build this one real quick. So you guys need about the same amount of things, but this time you need a redstone comparator instead of redstone torches. And I'll show you guys how to build this real quick. Obviously, it's pretty simple. So what you want to do is grab a lever. Let's put that down. Put a redstone and then get a redstone comparator right after one and then turn it on and then make it clock just like this. Now what you want to do is press the lever and as you guys can see if it's, it's flickering like it that means it's a redstone clock and that's exactly what we need so what you want to do is put down a dispenser at the end of the line make sure the redstone doesn't touch like right there what you want to do is complete the circuit and then put a redstone craft or a redstone crafting table put a crafting table on top now guys you have completed this as well what you want to do is put diamonds in there you don't need a stack of diamonds obviously you probably don't have a stack of diamonds because that's why you're on this video you want more diamonds so yes guys i will be showing you how this works what you want to do is turn the machine on, go to the crafting table, quickly run to the decorations, and quickly run to the diamond block. And right when you get nine ingots of something, you know how you make a block out of it. What you want to do is try to double tap, like, or try to, like, hold it, or I'm just going to try to double tap, guys. I'm not going to lie, guys, this is probably the worst one out of all these here. But my goal is to show you all of them. So, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been talking a lot, so I'm kind of running out of breath. So, remember, triangle. Oh, I messed up. So guys, remember, we started with a stack. Let's see how much we create. All right, guys, I'm just clicking as fast as I can. All right, guys, so remember, we started with 64 diamonds. Let's see how much we created. So what you wanna do is come over here, and then bam, guys, as you guys can see, we started with 64, and now we have 64 and 19. Guys, it's literally as simple as that. The same thing works with this one over here. You just turn it on, run to here, go to the diamonds, and what you want to do is click fast as you can. Just like that, as you guys can saw it worked. When it hits nine, you'll hear one click or you hear double click. So let's do this one more time. Let's see how much we get. As you guys can see, remember we started off with 64. And then let's check how much we have. Bam, guys, 64 and 21. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little glitch. It's a pretty good glitch, guys. It's probably the old reliable. It's been around for ages. 
and yeah let's cut on to the next one guys Thanks for watching if you guys are new please subscribe guys i know these videos get tens and thousands of views like literally this video is probably gonna get like 50,000 views guys i have 5,000 subscribers if even a quarter of the people watching this video could leave a, or if you guys could subscribe i'd really appreciate it guys i do how to's tips and tricks live streams tutorials glitches everything you guys need to know about this game guys i do it if you guys could subscribe i really appreciate it if this video did help you please leave a like guys so this right here does not have a title and i really actually don't know what to say to this guys i'm gonna look like a complete liar but guys this glitch right here is for all my xbox subscribers guys i cannot show you this glitch i cannot make it work like i can show you how it works but i can't get it to work what you guys want to do have to trust me or search it up even a little more so all you guys have to do is have a sticky piston, a button, and a chest. And put a chest on top. Sometimes I'm a little slow with this, so what you want to do is make a little redstone line so it takes longer. And guys, I'm not going to lie. Xbox has the best glitch out of all of them. <laughs> they can duplicate any item in multiplayer at any time. That's like actually insane. I wish PS4 had a glitch like that. So guys, what you want to do is put an item in a chest and put them in the bottom left so it's easier to grab. And what you want to do is press the button. And as you see, the piston goes up and then goes down. What you want to do is grab the item right when it goes down. As you guys can see, it's not that reliable. You don't know when it's, if it's going to go down quickly or not. So now, like what you want to do is grab. Okay, let's try it. So guys, like I said, I can't show you. I can't show you because it doesn't work on PS4. But if you're working on, if you're playing Xbox, just constantly try this, guys, and I promise you it'll work sooner or later. So what you want to do is press the button, and the bam. Like what you want to do is grab it right when it's coming down. And I'm sorry guys, I literally can't show you proof. I probably look like a liar, but you guys just have to trust me with this. What you want to do is grab the item right when it comes down. So guys, that was the Xbox exclusive glitch for all my Xbox players. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Let's move on to the next one. So guys, this is the old reliable. Everybody knows about this one probably. You guys are even commenting like, don't cover the pick plot glitch in the next one. You already covered this before many times. I have uploaded this like two to three times actually. Because sometimes I show poopy glitches like that one back there behind me. And I just throw in a good one for you guys to show you that, hey, <laughs> this is not the only glitch. Here's here's some more. So guys, what you want to do with this is have inventory. You need two blocks of the item you want to duplicate, which is like minerals or wood. I'll show you how to do with it after. What you want to do is put in your inventory and then have one on the floor. And also you want to press pause, help and options, controls, and scroll down all the way to see something called pick block. Now what you want to do is um, make the block up on a d-pad or down on a d-pad you don't put it as something that's useful like an example like x circle triangle like don't put it as any of those blocks but yeah so what you want to do is go to the corner you don't need to go to the corner guys but me personally it's always worked in the corner so i'll stick i'll stick with the corner so what you want to do is press the shuffle button as you guys can see we're shuffling through blocks what you want to do is press up on the d-pad and shuffle as you guys can see we actually have two blocks of diamonds so guys you successfully duplicated with this congratulations but guys, do not do anything. Do not move, do not go to a crafting table. What you wanna do is press square, go to decorations, and then go to over here to this dried kelp and turn these two into blocks. And there you go. You start off with nine, now you have 18. Uh, <laughs> guys, give me a second. You have to catch me right in the middle of doing all these glitches for you guys. So also one thing I wanna show you is that it works with the stack of blocks too. So instead of just duplicating one at a time, guys, what you want to do is have the stack in your inventory and one right there, and then go to the corner, and then just like that, as you guys can see, you have two stacks, go to the dried kelp, and turn this all into diamonds. Now, guys, I'm not going to stay here in forever because, you know, you guys believe me, it already works. So what we're going to do is just drop these over here. <coughs> and what you... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm running out of breath. No, I'm kidding. Um... So right here, let's do it with wood too. So you have one on the floor and you have it in your inventory. So press up and shuffle. Ooh, see, we actually mess up. Sometimes you do mess up, guys. Up and shuffle just like this. And what you want to do, guys, is press circle for the wood. This is if you want infinite wood. So what you want to do is press circle and drop this. Because as you guys can see, when you duplicate, the reasons why you don't want to move is because one of them is a ghost block. And to make it not a ghost block, what you want to do is turn into a normal, uh, like the normal diamonds. So what we're doing right now is we're dropping the real wood and then we're turning this fake wood, the ghost block wood, into actual wooden planes. So as you guys see right now, we had what, 63? We turned this all into planes and then bam, we have our stack of wood back guys. So you can duplicate wood. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That's probably one of my favorites, probably second favorite. 
And guys, just to prove that this also works, let's grab one block of... Ooh, grab it. Oh, I got to here. So let's drop this. And guys, this is also the pick block glitch, but what you can do is it with on the wall too. So you have in your inventory, and then you shuffle just like that. As you guys can see, it works the same exact way, guys. We can turn this all back into diamonds. <clears throat> then again, guys, you already know that it works. You guys can trust me. And we can throw this on the floor, guys. I'm not sure if this one works on the X or on Xbox. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't. I play PS4 and I can't tell. So let's move on. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm going to take a break real quick, guys. Give me a second. All right, guys, we're back. I'm sorry for that little delay. So guys, this glitch is just simply called the crazy OP glitch. Guys, this is a brand new glitch. I've shown this before, but this is really new. This actually came out like really recently. So guys, all you need for this is two blocks of diamonds or two blocks of your choice, and then 35 blocks to fill up your inventory. Our inventory is already full, so we should be just fine. It's probably safe to fill it up with all something that's one block, so you know it works. But guys, all you wanna do with this two blocks, what you wanna do is go to a crafting table, press triangle, and then just hold A. Oh, oh, see, this is where we messed up, guys. This is where we messed up. What you want to do is have this. We What you want to do is... I said this. <laughs> what you guys want to do is have one block of everything in inventory. So that was a le little lesson, guys. And look, it even took our diamonds from us because of it. Sorry. Don't <laughs> lesson learned, guys. Don't mess up. So let's grab... Uh, let's grab those blocks. Where are they at? There we go. Then we run over to the crafting table, and then what you want to do is press triangle and hold X. And just give it a second, guys. And guys, remember, what did we start off with? I don't know. It was like nine or something. I'm sorry, guys. I already forgot. But you guys will see right now we have way more than nine blocks. <laughs> so what we're going to do is turn this into a diamond. And then let's turn all of these. Okay, let's fill up. See, <laughs> Yeah, that is not just nine blocks, guys. Remember, we start off with like nine blocks. You can say nine blocks, nine blocks. But look, guys, we have a lot more. And if you guys just keep on holding it, you constantly get more and more and more and more and more and more and more. So, guys, you do it longer, the more you get. All right, guys, moving on to the very last glitch. The best glitch of all. This is for the people that stick to the very end and go win through all the glitches with me. So, yes, guys, this is the any item glitch. And a lot of people are probably going to say, well, you're in creative mode. You probably just cheated. Guys, you're going to have to take my word for it because I don't want to run all the way to a survival mode world. So, guys, what you want to do is the first thing is have your world in offline mode. I'll see you there. All right, guys, we are here. What the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on offline mode, just like this. What this means is that when you jump and pause, the whole game freezes around you. So, that means it will make the glitch work. So, let's load up the world. Hopefully, it does not take too long. Oh, perfect. You saw how fast that was? All right. So, the first thing... All right, guys, you guys probably just saw a little weird edit. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> we had a little technical difficulty. So what you want to do is obviously be in survival mode because you're obviously doing this in survival mode. Guys, you just guys, gonna, ugh, guys, 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 you guys are just going to have to trust me that this does work in survival mode. I just don't want to go to my one of my legit worlds and ruin it by doing this. So what you want to do is go up to a chest, disable all to save, then turn it back on and then fill up the chest with your gear. And then stand on top of it, and the second it breaks pause, the second before the item splatter everywhere. See, we done a little too early there. Right. Oh, what well, I suck. <laughs> I'm keep on doing it too early. Come on. Just like that, guys. Now what you want to do is press the PlayStation button, and then close applications of Minecraft, then load it up. I'll see you guys then. You guys see me loading back up Minecraft. Hopefully, you guys understood what I done. What you do is disable auto save, then turn it back on. You break the chest, uh, break the chest in the second before the item splatter everywhere. You want to press pause and then quit applications, and then load the game back up. Now I have been told that this works on Xbox, and it should work for you guys. I'm just not sure the wording for you guys. So here we go. We load up the world. Everything should be completely fine. As you guys can see, we have all our items in our inventory, and then all the items in the chest, guys. Just like that, you duplicated everything. Guys, I get so much comments of people saying, "How do you duplicate Ender Pearls? Ender Eyes? Ender Eyes? Ender Eyes?" Just like that, guys. All you need is one, and then one can turn to two, and two can turn to four, and four can turn to eight, and however you guys need. So, guys, this actually...